Hey, what's up guys? Today in this video, I'm going to walk you through the registration process which I have built for our application. So we have seen our last video that we had completed the entire token verification process where you know, when the email was coming to MailTrap, when the user clicks on that link, he was verifying his email address and he was going directly to the dashboard. But one important aspect of the entire journey was the registration which we haven't covered. So in this video, let's quickly see what all things have we done. And let me close everything out and go step by step. So if you see <coughs> on my login page, I have this register button, which will open up this registration form where we have name, email address, password and confirm password. So these were the four fields which we were sending through our postman while doing the registration okay and we were getting such emails in mail trap so now in the next one we would want to actually use this form register as a user and then activate our account and complete the flow let's just say I have password in here and then I do register. Now it will wait for some time. What happened? Okay, I think this email address is already there. So it's creating a problem. Hit register again. There's no 422 validation error. We'll have to wait for the email to get triggered. Once that is done, I am taken to the login screen. And now if I go to mail trap, an email has come at amitavroy at gmail.com. Hi amitavroy, blah, blah, blah. This is the verify link. Now, if you see our application right now has these two GA cook uh, no, items in the cookie. Let me clear it out. And if I try to go to the dashboard, it doesn't go to the dashboard. Okay. Now, if I click on verify, can you see I was redirected directly through the dashboard. So our entire flow is working. Now, what have we done over here? So let me go step by step. We have our registration page. This is the component which is rendering the registration page inside that we have a card. I'm thinking now that this card should become a component in itself because the login and the registration has the exact same kind of a markup. So we will do that. But before that, so we have this page and then we are rendering this form. So let's go inside. Inside this rendering form, what I have done is I have the formic form where we have this initial values, name, email, password, confirm. On submit, we have called our handle submit function. And this is the validation schema. Inside the validation schema, I have, and this is a yup object. So I'm saying that for validation purpose, the name should be string and it is a required field. Email should be string. It's a required field and it should be of type email. Okay, the text inside the quotes are messages which will come if the validation fails, right? Password is in a required field, should be minimum six. And the confirm is again, a field which is required. And also it says one of yup referencing password, which means this field should be any one of these fields and that's the password field and hence we are confirming that these two fields are exactly the same okay so this takes care of our validation using yup yup is really a very beautiful you know, library which i have already mentioned you should use that you know, we have done it for the login um, form as well and we are doing it in the registration okay so now what's next then we create our form in that we have our form field with name, 
Okay, this is the validation. Email address, password, confirm password. Okay, and on submit, what are we doing? On submit, we are sending the entire value set to user service dot create user. So the user service is the new service which I have created. Let's see what create user does. Right now, it does only one thing, which is it makes an Axios call, a post call to this URL and it sends the post data. If you get a 201 response, we return true. And this component is responsible for redirecting the user to the login page. So we took the use router hook. We, we got the, uh, not the hook, but we got the router instance. And then if the response was true, I redirected the user to the login page. And that's how, if you see, once we register, we were taken to the login page. I think it was right. So we, we registered over here and uh, we validated our uh, email link on Chrome uh, because my mail trap was actually logged in there. But yeah, you get the point, right? So this kinds of, um, you know, completes the entire registration. I think I will update the code on the server and with that, what is going to happen is you will be able to create an account. You will be able to see the code. You'll be able to log into the application and you are going, you will be able to play around with what we have developed so far interactively. Okay. Again, um, I'm not very good with the UI. So the only thing which I could come up mm, too many ads, right? So the only thing which I could come up for my login and registration is this. If you have a good design, I'm open to suggestions. You can send, submit a PR with the design first. You know, if this is looking good, then I will merge it and you can see the, you know, code live there and improve on it. So yeah, that's about it guys. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.